Hey Libra, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your monthly reading for December 2019. All right, so what we're gonna focus on for the month is your person and where they're at in their headspace and where they're at in their heart space. And then based on that, we'll pull some oracle cards on the, the energy, the stronger energy, okay? All right. So I want to let you know while I'm shuffling that I've decided that Thursdays every week in the month of December will be same day reading day. So if you're looking for a same day reading, um, from the time you get your request till the time you get your reading will be between three to five hours. I have to give myself that window because I never know, you know, what the demand will be. So. If you are looking for a same day reading this week, Thursday's your day. So just putting that out there. So this represents where your person is at in their headspace. This represents their heart space. All right, so let's look at their head space first. Judgment. So something is I feel like something is nudging at this person's thoughts, okay? They are thinking about how do I how do I reconnect with you? How do I possibly reconcile or they have some heavy judgment against themselves? All right, so Eight of Swords. While this person is trying to figure out how to come back, you know, they're tied up in some, some thoughts that are keeping them from doing that. And it could be, again, that this person is judging themselves for something. Like they, they feel like they're not good enough in some way for you. High Priestess. They're being very quiet right now. And I feel like this person is really, you know, fighting their, their intuition. Their intuition is trying to tell them something. Especially being next to the Eight of Swords. It's like the high priestess is saying, you know, take off the blindfold. You can't see something right now. So you have to listen to your, your intuition. And then six of wands. Look at this. So we have the high priestess in between the eight of swords and the six of wands. So almost opposite energies here. I want to see what this person, I feel like this person is judging themselves about something when it comes to you and your connection. Queen of Cups. I feel like this person feels like there's a weakness around looking at their heart, what's in their heart. And Queen of Cups is the most empathic and intuitive queen so it's like this person is judging themselves because I feel like they want to look into their heart and see what's there their intuition is telling them to do that
and they're preventing themselves from doing that. One more card here. Why? Okay. Sun. It's... It's like this person is feels undeserving of this happiness that's sitting right there for them. It's like they feel like they don't deserve happiness. Even though their intuition is telling them the opposite, even though their heart is telling them the opposite. If they listen to their intuition, they can have victory in this situation with you. They can have this reconciliation. They can have this blissful happiness. They can have this victory. But this is the key card here, this Eight of Swords. They're choosing. They would rather focus on why it can't work versus why it can. What's, it, what's in their heart? All right, so we have the Queen of Cups again. So this tells me that I, I feel like their intuition, they are going to listen to their intuition, okay? When the Queen of Cups is showing up twice with the High Priestess, they feel pushed to listen to their intuition, and I feel like they are going to do that if they aren't already. Page of Cups, this is all about emotion and heart here. There's, here's, here's what the deal is, okay? We got our why right here. This person feels like they owe you an apology. And that's why they feel up here. That's why they're keeping themselves trapped in their head is because they feel like they owe you an apology. And it feels like until they express that apology, they're going to keep themselves in this energy. But I do feel with High Priestess here, Queen of Cups here, and Queen of Cups here, that their heart's going to win. Yep, fool. After they make this apology, they have the opportunity to start fresh. And it, there will be a tremendous load lifted when they apologize. All right, so we have four of pentacles. That's interesting. I definitely want to clarify that because, you know, that indicates even though they have the opportunity for a new beginning here with you in their heart, they're still holding back. Why is that? Power. Okay. So once they're in this energy, I feel like it's going to feel very new to them. You know, they're, they're going towards the un unknown, which for them is, you know, being in that heart space, listening to their feelings, listening to their intuition. And that's new for them. That's what this this big change is for them. This change is, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to hold back from that a little bit. They're trying to resist this change into that emotional space. Even though it's all over the reading that that's what they're doing, I feel like there's kind of a, you know, kind of a little bit of a roller coaster for this person. I want to clarify this Six of Wands here. All right, we have Eight of Wands clearing, clarifying the Six of Wands. I feel like the key here is once they get out of their head and they communicate, 
they can't communicate out of a place of ego. And I feel like this person initially might communicate out of ego. So it's kind of a, a little bit of an empty victory at first. This person's going to go back and forth between head and heart for a while. They're not quite there yet. Because they're, they're still holding back in their heart space. I feel like they make tremendous progress here and then they dip back because it was a big change for them. They needed to do it. They needed to experience it with you. But don't be surprised if they suddenly kind of go back within themselves after they make this, maybe this grand gesture or this apology towards you. It's very, very difficult for this person. I feel like the stronger energy is right up here in their headspace right now. Whoops. That card came up in the upright, or, you know, turned over. So this card says there are signs leading up to this meeting. Okay, so it could be this meeting where this person apologizes. You know, this person could be seeing signs around your name, around numbers in dreams. You know, and I feel like this person is slightly tortured in their head. Because again, I don't feel like they feel like they deserve this happiness until they apologize or make some type of grand gesture here. But I do feel like, again, they're moving towards their heart space. They're going to get stuck a little bit after they do that. All right, so we have the letter, which is communication or a message which is indicated right here by the Page of Cups. I feel like there are signs pointing to this person all the time about this communication with you. Like there has to be an apology, there has to be an acknowledgement, there has to be accountability or something right here. Love yourself first. Yeah, you know, and I think I think that's important. You know, before this person delivers this apology or this message, you know, I feel like they're struggling with loving themselves first because I feel like they're judging themselves harshly over over something. But it feels like their heart wants to take over and they're fighting it. But I feel like this is happening, Libra. And again, you know, in a general reading, it can go either way. This could be you, you know, this could be you, all right? You know, I'm reading it for the person that you're watching the video for, but this could be you as well. Love yourself first. This person might really struggle with that. You know, if somebody, as they were growing up, if somebody didn't, you know, fill up their cup, then they're working with an empty cup. You know, if someone didn't tell them what they were good at or that they were loved or, you know, they weren't hugged as a child or kissed as a child or told, you know, that they could do anything that they want to do, you know, People, 
people struggle in life a lot of times because of certain lack in their childhood. And I feel like this person is one of those people. Anybody that's afraid of bliss and happiness or can't find happiness very easily in their life, I feel like it stems back to their childhood in some way. And that's not to blame any parents, okay? People do, you know, the best they can with what they know. All right, so Libra, that's what I have for you for this month. I feel like this is a grand gesture or an apology, and that helps them move into their heart space helps them move towards the unknown or take a risk. They're gonna have a setback, okay? It's a setback because of ego. And that really could be them trying to love themselves first, but it's really out of ego, okay? It's, it's because they may not have a full cup to offer yet, okay? All right, Libra, that's what I have for you for this month. Um, you can look for your weekly reading this week, too. Um, both are coming out this week, so um, that's all I have for you. All right, thanks so much. All right, bye-bye.